when we're talking to our football teams, okay, if you're a coach and you're talking to your football team, one of the things you talk about on, you know, as, as we get closer to game day is you talk about things like something, some as simple, something as simple as hydration, that you need to be drinking lots of water. Lots of water, lots of water. So a kid that makes a choice, you know, to drink lots of soda and not any water, and then on game day, they're having cramps and they can't finish the game because their, their legs won't work with them. Whose fault's that? Right? So let's just say you're the best team, but your team goes in and you, you're not hydrating properly. You saw too many ads on TV for, you know, Pepsi products or whatever it is. You just can't control yourself. Or you didn't get enough rest. You know, Netflix was always available and, you know, your friend was always texting and all of a sudden you stayed up too late and you didn't get enough rest, you didn't get enough water in you. The best team doesn't always win. Because sometimes the best team, they get derailed. They get sabotaged because they make poor decisions. Everybody tracking? So let's make the church a team. Church is a team. We've got a, an enemy. The Bible makes it really clear. Our competition is in other churches. It's not people. They were in a competition against powers and principalities and rulers in high places. That we're in a battle for the soul of our generation. That the war is raging. That the church has been losing for a long time. Why would the church of a living God be losing a spiritual battle? Is it because the game plan's not good? Is it because the God's not who he said he was or all those kind of things? Or is it because that the kind of equivalence to getting some water and some hydration and getting some rest? Is it because that the church, the individuals who make up the team, are making choices that allow the work of the enemy to derail the work of God? And the lie that churches tend to believe is that what God wants to happen is going to happen. God's will will be done. Liar, liar, pants on fire, that's not true. I know it sounds like it's true because he's God and he's sovereign. Yes, it sounds like it's true. It's not true. There are all kinds of things that happen in this world that are not God's will, it's not God's plan. Things are sabotaged all the time by man or by the enemy. It's the work of the enemy in and through man, maybe, as opposed to the work of God in and through man. See, the problem in the church isn't that the church isn't built to win. It's not that the problem in the church isn't that the church doesn't have the talents and the abilities and the resources to win. It's not that the problem with the church is not that it doesn't stand on, on truth and on a foundation of whatever the word is, of scripture. The problem in the church is that we get so distracted that somewhere we think we own it instead of God, and we think it's for our purposes, not God's, and it's for our glory and our comfort, not God's, and we're going to the game dehydrated, we're going to the game with a wrong head, we're going to the game with a wrong heart, we're going to the game in a position that makes us lose. 